Hi everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Bastian, the co-founder of Hublit, and I will help you setting up your Hublit correctly so you can start syncing LinkedIn data to HubSpot in a minute, just like our 6,000 plus HubSpot users who are using our product on a daily basis. I will cover three key steps. The first one is downloading and installing the Chrome extension. Second is reviewing which necessary permission you need and how to set them correctly. And of course, the last one, troubleshooting common errors and see how to solve these kind of errors. So now let's dive in. So once you're on the Chrome extension hub lead, you have to click on add to Chrome, add extension, and then you click on skip tutorial and use hub lead. It will open LinkedIn. You click on connect to HubSpot. And then here you have to connect with your HubSpot. So if you don't find your HubSpot ID, maybe you're connected with the wrong email. On the top right, you can sign out and relog with the right email. Here, I will select my HubSpot ID, choose account. You will see the list of permissions we need to connect Hublit to HubSpot. You also see this app hasn't been reviewed by HubSpot because we're importing LinkedIn data to HubSpot. And here you can click on connect app. And now if you go to another LinkedIn profile, for example, you see the widget hub lead inside LinkedIn or LinkedIn says navigator. So to be able to connect hub lead to HubSpot, you need the right permissions. You have two ways to do that. One way is to set your user as a super admin. They download the Chrome extension, connect to your HubSpot, and then you can remove them as a super admin and it will work. Otherwise, you have to set the right permissions they need the right to create, edit, and delete contact at least they own, companies at least they own, and deals at least they own. They also need the permission to read and write lists, app marketplace access, and edit property settings. And I will show you now how to find them inside HubSpot. So back into HubSpot, you go to your settings, search for users and teams. So now you can find your user, use the search bar to find the user really easily. Click on edit permissions and you will have to assign the right permissions. I click on contacts, edit and delete is not set. So I will set it as their contacts. And now it's good. You have view, edit and delete, their contacts at least. Same for companies, their contacts, same for deals and their deals. I will search for edit property setting Turn it on, uh, marketplace access here, turn it on, and the list access list and turn this on and make sure edit is also turned on. Okay. And I will click on save. Once you set these permissions and save, if it didn't work and you get like warning message from HubSpot because you cannot connect Hubly to HubSpot. Make sure your users log out from HubSpot and then log back inside of HubSpot to enforce the new permissions by HubSpot. Now, for example, you set the permissions and it's not working. You get an error from HubSpot while trying to connect Hubly to HubSpot. Here you can see the different use case. So in this use case, you need the app marketplace access. So go back to where I show how to find the app marketplace access. Make sure it's turned on. If you see couldn't complete the connection, and unfortunately, HubSpot doesn't give more information to us and to you. So you have to check if you have all the permissions set. If you have all the permissions set, as I said just earlier, ask your salespeople to log out, then log back inside HubSpot to make sure the permissions have been updated. And if you get this kind of error message, I do recommend you to go to connected apps and then find Hublid and uninstall that. Also, make sure your Chrome is updated and the Chrome extension is the latest version. To make sure your Chrome is updated, if you see this red mark, yellow mark or something like that, go to help then about Google Chrome. And here you can check if your Google Chrome is updated. And for Chrome extension, you can simply uninstall, reinstall the Chrome extension to make sure you have the latest version. You can find the link of this article inside the YouTube description. If you have any question, please feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn, emails or on the website through the live chat. You can also ask your question in the comment section on this YouTube video and I will reply to you as fast as I can. If you like this video, do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this and also all the content I'm producing around HubSpot outbound. See you to the next video.